Luca mentioned that you said before the game that you retired, <laughs> and uh, he called BS on that. He called BS? He said BS. I was tired. <laughs> I was. I told him before the game that I was tired just to just humanize what I was dealing with. Uh, you know, I didn't feel like my absolute best, but I, I knew that uh, it would create some type of inspiration and motivation amongst the guys. Just uh, told them that I needed to be picked up and then uh, coming out the gates, uh, you know, beat up and down a little bit and my body started to warm up. So uh, I think uh, I, did, I was tired before the game and then once the game got going, I got into it. But uh, I think it was good for our team uh, just to hear out some something different for the game and uh, led to a good result. So hopefully we could have the, the same result on this next upcoming game as well. Seeing a few shots go in makes you less tired, right? Yeah, yeah. competitor's creed right there. <laughs> you kind of hinted that you thought this might be coming, that you felt your body was getting better. Now, notwithstanding you being tired tonight, what do you think the difference has been in the last couple of years? Uh, I think back a few nights ago, just uh, referring to trusting my body. Uh, when you're coming into high-level competitive environment like the NBA, it's combat, it's physical combat every day, whether we're in shooting around, whether we're in practices. So, uh, when your body's taking that much contact, you just don't know when it's going to feel 100% again. And the days in between can feel shortened. The hours come and they go, and the games come and they go. Uh, but to feel like my body's balanced uh, on my jump shots or on my drives, and I'm able to be physical on both ends of the floor, and I'm not thinking about my breathing or I'm not thinking about um, kind of my next jump shot or my last jump shot, it, it just enables you to play with a freedom, a liberation really, uh, skill-wise. You know, you want to make an impact out there, I want to make an impact out there. And when I say you want to make an impact out there, just a comp as a competitor, you want to go out there and have a great game every single time, but it's, it's just not happening, you know. And I didn't start the season off the way I wanted to, and uh, I was quoted on saying it was a healthy challenge for me, which, is it, which it is. You know, I'm 13 years in, it's not like I've, uh, not had seasons where I start off well or start off well, but it took me a little time to figure it out. Now we're here, so just want to find that consistency and continue to do the things that are working. You make it as a team offensively. It, it looks easy the way you, the way you play. Is it easy to play? The way we're playing as a team. Is it, oh, is it, is, is it, 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 it's, it looks easy, but just the way everybody's running and the balls flying around, or whatever. Yeah. Is it easy to play? Yeah, no, it's, it's easy to play that way when. Uh, you're not turning the ball over, you're keeping another team off the free throw line, you're getting stops consecutively, and you, you have spurts of four or five minutes where a play isn't being called. It's just constant pace running, we're running to our spots, and we're just remembering the little details that make us a great squad. Um, individually, uh, we have talent, but as a team collectively, when we're all hitting on cylinders like tonight, like tonight, you can see a result like that. So it felt good, definitely easy pace to play, uh, but the question for us that we always have to answer is, uh, do we want to be consistent with it? And that's something that um, starts with our preparation, starts with how much rest we get, starts how serious we're taking these teams in the league, um, and setting a precedent for ourselves so uh, we know our style of play uh, sooner than other teams do. Does it help when you can uh, see Luca throw one into the fourth row and give him a little grief about it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's always good when you give each other uh, a little, you know, a little humor when we make mistakes out there. It's all part of the game. It's human. Is there a comfort, Kyrie, in knowing that I mean, you guys are so good in the half court game, just in the, in the pick and roll game, mm -hmm. I mean, to, to know that there is a variety of ways that you can play and you can still be efficient regardless of the style of play? Yeah, I think that's the beauty of this figuring out process of how to be a complete team, uh, you know, night to night. Uh, we have roles that we're establishing, but we also can play other roles on this team. I think that's part of the uh, diversity that we have in our locker room is, is just having guys that can do other good things that complement our team well and still keep team first. You know, obviously, there are going to be some shot attempts that are going to differentiate between player to player. Minutes are going differenti to differentiate, but what's consistent is our attitude and how we treat the basketball game as a whole. You know, whatever minutes you're in there, it's, the attitude is make an impact and be proud that you're making a positive impact for the team. And if you're not, then you got to give your teammate a chance to go do that. So it's healthy. You know, it's a team sport. Everybody wants to be out there. But when you have uh, some veterans and some maturity, 
going on and then you have uh, some honest conversations, games like tonight, um, seem like everything's working well. And then it's not like we forgot about the Raptors either beating us. So um, just a little inner motivation for games moving forward. You're eight and two, obviously it's 10 games an hour down. What's the vibe line maybe even compared to last year's feeling out process and that sort of thing? Man, uh, I can't wait to the last year comparisons to eat away <laughs> at their own because, man, I don't, you know, last year I wasn't here for all, the whole entire year, but I, I am responsible for part of it. And I take my accountability for that too. But I think this year, uh, uh, as I said the other night, we had a great training camp and eight and two, we're not satisfied. We know we're going to win the championship off of the first 10 games. Um, and, and we still have some things to clean up. So, you know, it's no time to be super happy about these wins. We, we know it's uh, coming down the line and also how important this next game is for the NCAA tournament. Aluka mentioned expecting to see an early low man against the Pelicans. What were your thoughts on how the offense kind of exploited that or, or handled it? Yeah, I think we were just aware of some of the rotations, uh, aware of some of the mistakes that they were going to potentially make and just took advantage of it on offense. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Yeah, sir.